this is the way to let people know whether or not they're in ketosis. So some people say, oh yeah, I, I eat a ketogenic diet. I said, what's your GKI? Well, I never measured. Well, how do you know you're in ketosis? Meet Dr. Thomas N. Seafried, PhD, a top researcher who studies how changing the way people eat can help manage diseases like cancer and epilepsy. His work shows that changing metabolism can kill cancer cells and improve the health of normal cells. Dr. Seafried examines the chemical and genetic reasons behind these changes, focusing on inflammation, cell health, blood vessel growth, and fat biochemistry. He has written over 150 research papers and the book Cancer as a Metabolic Disease on the origin, management, and prevention of cancer. Dr. Seafried has won many awards, including the Alumni Achievement Award from the University of New England and the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy of Comprehensive and Complementary Medicine. Disclaimer. Please consult with a healthcare professional before making any health-related decisions or changes to your diet and lifestyle. Cancer is an intricate disease characterized by relentless cell growth and voracious energy demands. It poses a profound challenge in the realm of medical research. Dr. Seifrein has studied how cancer cells use energy differently. Uh, allows a lot of, well, we built it for the cancer folks uh, so that they can know how to kill their tumor cells. Uh, and also deliver drugs. When the when the pants, cancer patient is in ketosis, they, the drug delivery can kill the tumor cells much more effectively. In cancer, cells change how they make energy. Instead of using the usual process called respiration, they prefer a different way called fermentation, even when there isn't much oxygen. This switch to fermentation is a key trait of cancer cells, as they rely heavily on sugars like glucose and glutamine for energy. Dr. Seafried's research shows how cancer cells work together to use fermentation in both the cell's main part and the energy powerhouse, mitochondria. They have special systems that help them use sugars for energy. This highlights how cancer cells have unique ways of getting the energy they need to keep growing and spreading. Dr. Seafried's research suggests that changing what we eat could potentially impact how cancer cells grow and spread. One approach he explores is called a ketogenic diet. This diet involves eating foods that are high in fats, moderate in proteins, and very low in carbohydrates. By doing this, the body enters a state called ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. Cancer cells typically rely heavily on glucose and glutamine, which are types of sugars, to fuel their rapid growth. However, when someone follows a ketogenic diet, the levels of glucose and glutamine in the body decrease because they are not consuming as many carbohydrates. This reduction in available sugars can starve cancer cells, making it harder for them to grow and divide. Additionally, Dr. Seafried suggests... So can you starve the tumor cell of their fermentable fuels and kill them? And the answer is absolutely. It's an elegant, beautiful system. And when it's done right, it, you can't believe how well it works that combining a ketogenic diet with medications that target the metabolism of glucose and glutamine in cancer cells could potentially stop the energy production that fuels tumor growth. This combined approach aims to disrupt the unique way cancer cells generate energy, potentially slowing down or even killing cancer cells. A ketogenic diet focuses on high fat, moderate protein, and very low carbohydrate intake. Studies show that the ketogenic diet can help manage cancer by changing the body's metabolism. Here's how it works. Cancer cells need a lot of glucose, sugar, to grow. A ketogenic diet reduces the amount of glucose in the body because it limits carbohydrates, which are the main source of glucose. When the body doesn't have enough glucose, it starts to use fat for energy. This process produces ketones, which healthy cells can use for fuel, but cancer cells cannot. One study showed that when mice with brain tumors were put on a calorie-restricted ketogenic diet, the growth of the tumors slowed down. The ketogenic diet targets cancer cells in a few ways. It reduces inflammation, starves cancer cells, decreases growth factors, and improves the health of normal cells. Cancer cells thrive in inflamed environments, and the ketogenic diet lowers inflammation by reducing the activity of NFKB, a protein that controls inflammation. This was seen in mouse models, where lower NFKB activity meant less inflammation and slower tumor growth.
Without glucose, cancer cells struggle to survive. The ketogenic diet deprives them of their primary fuel source. At the same time, normal cells switch to using ketones for energy, which cancer cells cannot effectively use. The diet also reduces the levels of insulin and other growth factors that cancer cells need, slowing down the rate at which cancer cells can multiply. While cancer cells are starved, normal cells become healthier. They use ketones for energy, which can protect them from damage and improve overall health. Dr. Seyfried explains that combining the ketogenic diet with other treatments can be even more effective. For example, studies have shown that using the ketogenic diet along with a drug called 2-deoxyglucose, 2-DG, can greatly reduce tumor growth. 2-DG works by entering cancer cells and blocking their ability to use glucose, which leads to energy loss and cell death. When used together, the ketogenic diet and 2-DG hit cancer cells from two sides. They starve the cancer cells of glucose and disrupt their energy production. In experiments with mice, the combination of a restricted ketogenic diet and 2-DG showed a greater reduction in tumor growth than either treatment alone. This combination also helped the mice live longer. Implementing a ketogenic diet KD, to fight cancer requires careful planning and strict adherence to dietary guidelines. The typical macronutrient ratio for a ketogenic diet involves 70-75% to 75 fat, 20 to 25 percent protein and 5 to 10 percent carbohydrates to achieve this daily carbohydrate intake should be limited to about 20 to 50 grams foods that are high in healthy fats such as avocados olive oil coconut oil butter and fatty fish should be included protein sources should be moderate and can include eggs poultry beef and low carb dairy products Carbohydrates should come from non-starchy vegetables like leafy greens, broccoli, and cauliflower. Monitoring and maintaining ketosis is essential. This can be done by regularly checking ketone levels using urine strips, blood meters, or breath meters. Additionally, blood glucose levels should be monitored to ensure they remain low, as high glucose can fuel cancer growth. Achieving and maintaining ketosis helps in reducing the availability of glucose, which is crucial for starving cancer cells. Combining the ketogenic diet with other treatments can enhance its effectiveness. A study conducted in Nutrients found that a clinical trial involving human subjects with brain tumors investigated the impact of a ketogenic diet on tumor metabolism. Participants were prescribed the ketogenic diet and monitored for changes in tumor metabolism over a specified period. The study included a specific number of participants with brain tumors who adhered to the ketogenic diet intervention. The findings revealed significant changes in tumor metabolism in response to the ketogenic diet, potentially enhancing the effectiveness of standard therapy for brain tumors. These metabolic alterations suggested that the ketogenic diet could complement traditional treatment approaches for brain tumors, indicating a promising role for this dietary intervention in improving therapeutic outcomes for patients with brain tumors. Um, ketogenic diets have been around since the 1920s, uh, basically, maybe even earlier than that, but at least, you know, Wilder at, at Mayo Clinic was the, the one we recognize as kind of adapting this whole thing. It was mostly done for epilepsy. Dr. Seafried states that strict compliance with the ketogenic diet is crucial for its success. Non-compliance can lead to subtle increases in tumor progression, which may not be immediately obvious. Maintaining dietary compliance can be challenging in a home environment due to distractions and lack of support. Therefore, it is often recommended that the diet be initiated and managed under the supervision of healthcare professionals in a specialized clinic. This ensures proper education, support, and monitoring, which can significantly enhance adherence and outcomes. Potential side effects such as fatigue, headaches, and nausea, commonly known as the keto flu, can occur during the initial transition period. These can be managed by ensuring adequate hydration, electrolyte balance, and gradual dietary adjustments. Patients with cancer may have specific dietary needs and restrictions based on their overall health, type of cancer, and treatment plan.
It is important to work closely with healthcare professionals to tailor the ketogenic diet to individual needs and ensure it complements other treatments like surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. Adopting a ketogenic diet involves planning meals around high-fat, moderate protein, and low-carbohydrate foods. This diet can help prevent cancer by reducing inflammation and promoting metabolic flexibility. Below are some delicious and easy-to-make ketogenic recipes for various meals of the day, ensuring you can enjoy tasty dishes while staying within the dietary guidelines. Breakfast Keto Avocado Egg Bake Description a delicious breakfast option that combines avocado, eggs, cheese, and seasonings baked to perfection. Recipe Ingredients 1 avocado, 2 eggs, shredded cheese, salt, pepper. Directions Cut the avocado in half and remove the pit. Scoop out a bit of the flesh to make room for the egg. Crack an egg into each half, sprinkle with cheese, salt, and pepper. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes until the egg is set. Lunch Keto Cauliflower Mac and Cheese Description A low-carb version of the classic mac and cheese using cauliflower as a substitute for pasta. Recipe Ingredients 1 head of cauliflower, 1 cup heavy cream, 2 cups cheddar cheese, 1 half cup cream cheese, 1 teaspoon mustard, salt, pepper. Directions Steam cauliflower florets until tender. In a saucepan, heat heavy cream and add cheddar cheese and cream cheese until melted. Stir in mustard, salt, and pepper. Mix with cauliflower and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Dinner Keto Chicken Alfredo Description Creamy and rich chicken alfredo made with zucchini noodles instead of traditional pasta. Recipe Ingredients 2 chicken breasts, 1 cup heavy cream, 1 cup parmesan cheese, 2 cloves garlic, 3 zucchinis, spiralized. Directions Cook chicken breasts in a skillet until golden. In the same skillet, add garlic and heavy cream, bring to a simmer. Add parmesan cheese and stir until creamy. Serve over sodded zucchini noodles. Side dish Keto bacon wrapped asparagus Description a simple yet flavorful appetizer or side dish featuring asparagus spears wrapped in crispy bacon. Recipe Ingredients 1 bunch asparagus, 12 slices bacon, olive oil, salt, pepper. Directions Wrap each asparagus spear with a slice of bacon. Place on a baking sheet, drizzle with olive oil, and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes until bacon is crispy. Snacks Keto Fat Bombs Description These small, high-fat snacks are perfect for boosting your fat intake on a ketogenic diet. They come in various flavors like chocolate, coconut, or peanut butter. Recipe Ingredients 1 half cup coconut oil, 1 quarter cup cocoa powder, 1 quarter cup peanut butter, sweetener, optional. Directions Melt coconut oil and mix with cocoa powder and peanut butter. Pour into molds and refrigerate until solid. Appetizer Keno Taco Stuffed Bell Peppers Description Bell peppers filled with seasoned ground beef or turkey, topped with cheese and baked until tender. Recipe Ingredients 4 bell peppers, 1 pound ground beef or turkey, 1 packet taco seasoning, 1 cup shredded cheese. Directions Have and seed the bell peppers. Cook ground beef or turkey with taco seasoning. Fill peppers with meat mixture, top with cheese, and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Seafood Dish Keto Lemon Garlic Butter Shrimp Description Succulent shrimp cooked in a lemon garlic butter sauce, served with zoodles, zucchini noodles, or cauliflower rice. Recipe Ingredients 1 pound shrimp, 4 tablespoons butter, 3 cloves garlic, juice of 1 lemon, 2 zucchinis, spiralized. Directions Sauna shrimp in butter with minced garlic until pink. Add lemon juice and toss. Serve over zucchini noodles or cauliflower rice. Dessert Keto cheesecake Description 
a creamy and indulgent dessert made with an almond flour crust and a rich cream cheese filling sweetened with a keto-friendly sweetener. Recipe Ingredients 1 cup almond flour, 3 tablespoons butter, melted, 16 ounces cream cheese, 2 eggs, 1 half cup keto-friendly sweetener. Directions Mix almond flour and melted butter, press into a baking dish to form the crust. Beat cream cheese, eggs, and sweetener until smooth. Pour over crust and bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes. Party Dish Keto Buffalo Chicken Dip Description A spicy and cheesy dip made with shredded chicken, cream cheese, hot sauce, and melted cheese, perfect for parties or game nights. Recipe Ingredients 2 cups shredded chicken, 8 ounces cream cheese, 1 half cup hot sauce, 1 cup shredded cheddar cheese. Directions Mix shredded chicken with softened cream cheese and hot sauce. Spread in a baking dish, top with cheddar cheese, and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Breakfast Treat Keto Coconut Flour Pancakes Description Fluffy pancakes made with coconut flour and served with sugar-free syrup and berries. Recipe Ingredients 1 quarter cup coconut flour, 4 eggs, 1 quarter cup almond milk, 1 slash 2 teaspoons baking powder, sweetener. Directions Mix all ingredients until smooth. Cook pancakes on a griddle until golden brown. Serve with sugar-free syrup and berries. These recipes will help you stay on track with your ketogenic diet while enjoying a variety of delicious meals. By integrating these tasty options into your meal plan, you can maintain a diet that supports cancer prevention and promotes overall health. Dr. Seafrine also states that fasting is another powerful method to prevent cancer. Unlike starvation, which is harmful, therapeutic fasting maintains metabolic homeostasis. During fasting, the body switches to using ketones for energy, sparing protein and protecting the brain. Vitamins and minerals stored in the body are slowly released, supporting overall health during fasting. Studies have shown that people can fast for extended periods without adverse effects. This process, known as autophagy, breaks down and recycles inefficient cells, potentially targeting precancerous cells. Combining the ketogenic diet with fasting can enhance its effectiveness. For instance, a seven-day, water-only fast once a year can help the body get rid of precancerous tissue. It typically takes two to three days for blood glucose to reach therapeutic levels of 55 to 65 mang slash dull and ketones to reach 3 to 5 mol. Once in this metabolic state, cell death and autolytic cannibalism begin, purging the body of cancerous tissue. For those unable to conduct longer fasts, several shorter fasts, two to three days, two to three times a year can also be effective. Dr. Thomas N. Seafried's innovative approach to cancer treatment through metabolic therapy offers a beacon of hope in the fight against this relentless disease. His research suggests that by shifting the body's energy production from glucose to ketones through a ketogenic diet, we can exploit cancer cells' metabolic vulnerabilities. This strategy, especially when combined with other treatments, has the potential to significantly impede cancer growth and improve patient outcomes. Embracing such dietary changes requires dedication and professional guidance, but it opens up a promising, less invasive pathway for managing and potentially overcoming cancer. Always seek advice from healthcare professionals to tailor these strategies to your individual needs and treatment plans.